Welcome back to this day. Joining me now is William Arceo with the Recreation Update. William, it's always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure seeing you as well. Oh, good. Well, so I was thinking as I was preparing for today, I'm mm -hmm. like, it's crazy that the last time I saw you, we were talking about the upcoming Halloween stuff. Oh, yeah. And now I'm like, wow, like already Thanksgiving's passed and here we are into, mm -hmm. you know, December on Friday. It's just... <laughs> Time is flying, that's for sure. <laughs> Time is certainly flying, yes, from, and it's just been a month, so it's like, whoa, suddenly it's the holidays. Right. And it's like, okay. Right, weather's changing and rain is coming mm -hmm. and all those things. And so is this time of year more busy for you guys? Like, I feel like there's more activities or just more things, or is it more like a well-oiled machine and the it, traditions are in place? And at, at this point, the traditions are pretty much in place. We, we have... Um, all these dinners, all the, the, the toy drive, our New Year's Eve events, all of them kind of come in line. We, we change it up every single time a little bit, like, hey, different food menu, different acts, different, but it's always like around the same time that we have all of these okay. events. Yes. Okay. Well, fun. Well, let's get into it. I'm so excited to hear <laughs> about all the traditions here in the village. And so first off, um, coming up this weekend is the holiday tree lighting. Yes. Over at Clubhouse One, we're having our holiday tree lighting, and it's also a toy drive. Uh, so the, or, um, the fire department's going to be there accepting uh, toys for the toy drive. Uh, so we're excited to have them there. Um, it's going to be from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Um, please bring an a unwrapped, um, yeah, unwrapped children's gift. And then we'll also have Santa there. We'll have some hot cocoa, some cookies. It's, it's kind of more of a laid back kind of event, but it should be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of residents there just having a jolly time. Now, is this inside the clubhouse or outside? No, it's outside. It's outside. Yeah. So there's a big tree. Well, maybe, and... maybe we'll have to make it inside, if, depending on the weather. But usually, <laughs> yeah, it's outside. Now, do you know if the fire department will bring the big red engine? Oh, yes. yes okay. They do. So it's a definitely <laughs> so it's good a good event time. to bring bring the whole family to and mm -hmm. maybe the grandkids yes. as well. Yes. I forgot to mention there will also be carolers there. So oh, there's going nice. to be some nice music uh, featured uh, from at least when they go high school. They'll, they'll be there. Uh, singing as well. Well, this doesn't sound like a laid-back event at all. This sounds pretty <laughs> amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, yeah, it's no, it's because um, when I, in my mind, recreations are like, oh, dancing, uh, just partying it up, but not in this, this case, it's uh, carols and hot cocoa. And right, cookies. right. Yes. Oh, well, it sounds beautiful. <laughs> And so also coming up uh, next Monday, just in yes. a couple of days, right around the corner, is the Monday Movies at the Pack. Yes, we're once, once a month we have a Monday movie. This time in December, on December 18, we're featuring movie uh, White Christmas. It's a 1950s classic. It has a lot of songs in it, you know, Bing Crosby is featured. Um, so it'll be a good time. The doors will open at 1.45. The movie will begin at 2 p.m. and it's completely free. Feel free to bring your friends, bring uh, your family, whomever you want to bring, or just come by yourself. It's okay, um, and you're more than welcome to come. It's a free show, and it'll be a great time. Wonderful. And this is this is for December 18th, correct? Yes, December okay, 18th. Okay, yes, not next Monday. <laughs> yes, not, not Right, quite. right. I got a little confused on this one. Okay. <laughs> and then um, up next after that is the uh, Christmas buffet. The buffets yes. are going well. Buffets are going great. We actually just had our Thanksgiving buffet. Um, and that one sold out within about a day or two. Wow. Uh, this Christmas buffet, it, it's going to be on Christmas Day uh, over at Clubhouse 5 on 1 p.m. But the tickets do go on sale um, on Thursday, November 30th. Um, so that's uh, tomorrow. Um, so, and tickets go on sale at 8 a.m. This one usually does sell out within a few days. So if you do want to go, make sure to get your ticket early. Um, so our, this, this one, just like our Thanksgiving, is featuring Martinez's menu. Uh, for our Christmas buffet, it's going to be uh, prime rib, uh, baked salmon, stuffed chicken, roasted red potatoes, broccoli and carrots, salad, fruit, rolls, and a few different options for dessert. Sounds delicious mm -hmm. and hits all the main things that you <laughs> yes. want for Christmas. So so definitely, if you're wanting a ticket, mm -hmm. you need to go tomorrow. You, yeah, you should go <laughs> tomorrow. There, there actually are a few people that do line up early, but I don't think that's necessary. Um, okay, it's not it's like just, you have to be there right at 8 a.m. Yeah, it's not, but it, it'll probably sell out uh, in about a day or two. But okay. We'll, 
who knows? <laughs> and then where do they go to buy the tickets? Over at Clubhouse, Clubhouse 5, Five and the office there. So the, the, their office opens at 8 a.m. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. And then, so next up, the biggest night of the year, New Year's <laughs> Eve. And then how great is it that you guys offer not just one, but yes. two different events? Yes, we have two different events. So we'll, I'll bring this, the first one up here. It's over at Clubhouse 5. It is a dinner dance. Um, so for this one, tickets also don't go on sale until December 6th. Also at Clubhouse 5 at 8 a.m. Uh, this one's cost $65 per person, but this one's going to be featuring Martinez's menu of New York steak, shrimp scampi, and spinach ravioli. There'll be a music provided by the band The Trip. They're a local Orange County rock band. They, I was listening to them. They, they play a variety of music, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. They play some modern stuff as well, uh, but it's mostly, it's all rock music. That'll be a good time. Yeah, this uh, is so awesome to have like the whole evening, the dinner and the mm -hmm. dancing, and and how late? So dinners at doors open at six thirty. Dinners yes. at seven fifteen. Music starts at eight p.m. Mm -hmm. How late will it go? And then there's what's nice is the um, the champagne yes. toast at nine p.m. So you guys will do the East so, Coast. So ball yeah, drop. they're, they're going to watch the ball drop. Yes, at nine p.m. And then they'll continue on dancing for a, for a good hour. And then it kind of starts to dwindle down after about 10 p.m. Yeah. Uh, around 11 p.m. people are pretty much out. But it's kind of, we're not like kicking you out or anything. Right, right. But it's just the, as, as the night goes on. That's kind of how the yeah. flow seems to go. That's kind of how the flow goes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Probably after two hours of dancing, you're <laughs> getting a little wiped out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a fun night, though. And then yes. tell us about your second New Year's Eve event. So over, yes, over at the Performing Arts Center, we're having a variety show, actually. Um, every year we kind of feature different acts, uh, so this time around we are having five different acts ranging from like an illusionist, different um, bands, I don't, it's, it's a whole variety, it's going to be a great time. Um, and then tickets do vary in price depending on where you want to sit. There are still tickets available, but it is selling well, um, so I do recommend if you do want to go to the show, make your way to the Performing Arts Center box office, um, or you can purchase tickets online. So online you can go to tickets.lagunawoodsvillage.com or you can visit the box office over the Performing Arts Center. And now there, so will some of this also include dancing as well? No, the, or is it's more this watching one's the whole show? sitting down, maybe you'll, you'll stand up, move, yeah, move around a little bit, but it's not really, there's no right. dance floor at this one. Okay. Uh, but I do know there's some residents that like to go in the aisles and kind of just jiggle a little bit. Right, you know, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. If you feel the need to move, you're going <laughs> to yeah. figure out how to move. <laughs> exactly. The, and so, well, and the great thing about this one is it starts a little bit later, so you can mm. go out to dinner somewhere else if mm -hmm. you want to do that. Or, yeah, just get a little bit later start to your night. So yes. this is so awesome. I mean, everything's so close nearby. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are not crazy, ridiculous prices. Like, it's... Mm. And then there's a good opportunity that you're going to see a bunch of other people you know as well. So yeah. what, a, what a great idea. How fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then lastly, looking ahead once you recover from New Year's Eve. <laughs> yes. So down the line a little bit uh, in February, we, we do have another featured act over the Performing Arts Center. It's an ABBA uh, cover band called ABBA Fab. Uh, tickets are $25, $30, or $35, depending on where you want to sit. Uh, and the show starts at 7.30 p.m. So it's going to be uh, a band featuring all the classics from ABBA. It's going to be a really great time. Um, I personally do very much enjoy a lot of ABBA music. Yeah, so definitely. It'd be something that I'd want to go to. <laughs> <laughs> um, tickets are already on sale. And this one is also about uh, two-thirds of the way sold out. So I do recommend making your way down to the Performing Arts Center or to the website tickets.lagunawoodsvillage.com uh, to purchase your ticket. This is wonderful. Cover bands, they're so good nowadays. <laughs> yes. and, and it's just so great to, you know, enjoy the music mm -hmm. of all these different music. So, and then um, one other thing you wanted to tell us about, you have an update on the pool. Yes, I, I do have a quick pool update. So currently pool number four is undergoing its maintenance. Um, it's scheduled to reopen. There's no exact date yet, but it should be reopening midway through December. And once uh, Pool 4 reopens, Pool 1 is next in line to go under maintenance. Um, so just so, so you have everything in line, Pool 4 reopening mid-December, and then Pool 1 will follow after with its maintenance. So as soon as this one opens, mm. then Pool 
pull on the clothes. Baby clothes. And yes. about how long has each of them been? Each, each one for? averages about seven to eight weeks for, okay. for its maintenance, okay. yes. And are the pools heated during the winter time? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, all yeah. of them are always heated. Okay. So they're yeah. definitely being used year round. They're definitely being used, yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here today well, and me. updating us. It's always so nice to see you. It's nice seeing you, Bobby. <laughs> and if I don't see you before Christmas and mm -hmm. the holidays, New Year's, you know, happy holidays to you. Um, for any of the events here at the Performing Arts Center, you can purchase tickets, as William said, at tickets.lagunawoodsvillage.com or you can go directly to the PAC box office. For the other events being held in Clubhouse 5, you can go directly to the Clubhouse 5 office to purchase tickets there. And don't forget, the holiday tree lighting is this Saturday, December 2nd, at 6 p.m. in Clubhouse One. Stay with us, because we will have Agewell Senior Services right after this.